On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up the Lord of the Rings action vinyls Sauron sent to me by the loyal subjects. <laughs> I mean, I could say whatever I want about Sauron, even if he's a big dummy. It's not like there's a big ear of Sauron. I mean, there's an eye of Sauron. If the eye can read lips, I'm in trouble. Scott vs. Box! This is Lord of the Rings Action Vinyls Sauron sent to me by the the of uh, the fellowship over there at Loyal Subjects. They're they're a fine fellowship. A fine fellowship. Yes, indeed. This is awesome. Uh and action vinyls. There are so many to collect. There's a Sauron. There's a Gandalf. Look at that Gandalf. That's a good Gandalf. I like all the detail in them. These are very cool. There's a Legolas and a Frodo Baggins. Uh, Gimli's actual size. All right. Somebody probably made that joke. 13 points of articulation. World's best action figure. Five stars. So what it says. I believe it. Collectible cards included as well. Um, as well as multiple accessories. So for ages eight and up, because I believe it comes with a mace. So you don't want the little ones to swallow the mace and go, oh, you like the mace. And then they talk like that forever. And you're like, oh, what's that kid? Like, I got a Sauron toy. And that's, you know, then you got a weirdo. What you might find, medium rare, cool chase, rare killer score, rarest brag to your friends, Club 28, throw a ticker tape parade, gold, and then you break the internet. So many things to find. That's so cool. Over 2,000 action figures to choose from. Little subjects coming a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I've opened up some of these before. And uh, who knows, maybe there'll be more in the future. I think these are very cool. I always like the minifigs because then you can just load up the shelves with them. You can just load it up and there's all these different movies and things you can load them up with. So that's so cool. You can do that. And this is going to go in the collection. And there's a card on here or something, something. Trying to get it out without busting the box. I'll get you yet. But let's look at Sauron for the moment. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, there. Oh, the mace is there too. That's a big, big honking mace. Oh, cool. Wow. Pointy, but not like too pointy, but oh, this is so cool. Man, I shouldn't have worn a black t-shirt. <laughs> hey, look at the figure. Isn't this amazing? Do you love it? All right. All right. There we go. There you go. Looking at Sauron up close and personal. Look at that detail. Wow, that is cool. So many sharp edges. So pointy. So capy. Got it all right there. Terrible to go out trick-or-treating in this outfit, though. Car's going to hit you left and right. You got to wear some kind of reflector, Sauron. What are you thinking? You don't even have a candy bag. What, are you going to put it on top of your crown? It's going to fall loose. It's going to fall loose. Maybe the king-size bars will hang up there in the crown. <sighs> Maybe. But then... Any anything else? Tootsie rolls are gonna fall right out. It's just a dumb move, Sauron. You're a horrible trick or treater. Horrible. No wonder he's evil. No wonder. So here we got the mace. This is cool. And get it out of the plastic first. There we are. Here's the mace of the power of Sauron. Not a song that he's affiliated with. Cool. Put it in the right hand. I don't know if uh, Sauron's ambidextrous or not, but in this scenario, he's right-handed. And we'll put it in that hand. <gasps> oh, I just noticed the wonderful detail. Look at that. He's got the ring. I hope you can see that. You see that little see that little speck right there? See that? Yeah, there we go. Focused in. There's the gold ring right there. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, but there it goes. That's so cool. Fine detail. Fine detail right there. Let's see what other... See this card in here. Get out of there. <laughs> it's wedged right at the bottom. Give it. Give it chew. I got it. Don't worry. I got tools for this sort of thing. Unboxer loses three fingers in horrible YouTube accident. News at 11. I can't get it out of there. All right, I'll just open it from the bottom. I'll show you. Well, the bottom's sealed. Then I ruin the box. 
Use your ring! Why don't you help me in this instance, you greedy, greedy man? Oh, I think I got it. Up, oh, I'm losing it. I don't know if everyone's got the patience that I do if they're like, just rip it out of there already. Or if they're like, be very careful. Be very careful. It's a collectible card of some kind. Be careful, Scott. Be careful. I got it. I got it. Only mild damage done to the card. Ah, it says Sauron. <gasps> Rarest. Rarest, it says so. Right there. Right there. Sauron card. Look on the back there. <laughs> Look at Gandalf. Look at that picture. It's like, whoo, he got so scared he lost his hat. Whoo, a mouse. And then boy, his hat flew right off his head. That's cool. The manifest visage of all evil in Middle-earth. Sauron is known by many, na many names to the free peoples of Middle-earth in the guise of one both fair and wise. He came as a bearer of gifts, magic rings, which would prolong the lives of their users and grant certain powers to them. In time, however, the true nature of the Dark Lord was revealed when Sauron placed upon his own finger the Master Ring. The one ring power to control all others and to get a discount at the Dairy Queen that he wouldn't share with anyone, with anyone at all. So unfair. So unfair. Yes. Gotta get more. Legolas, Gandalf, Frodo, Baggins. Gotta get them all. Action finals. How cool are these? Load up the shelves with them. Get them all. There's over 2,000 of them. What else you got going on? Get 2,000 figures already. The loyal subjects. Lord of the Rings. Sauron. Thanks so much for watching Scott vs. Box. Oh, what a fun time we had. Man, there are more unboxings to come. I assure you, they're all piled up next to me. But they're coming soon. Subscribe so that way you never miss out. Also, be sure to hit the bell so you get a notification whenever there's a new video. And then did you know on Fridays I do Scott vs. Food? That's right, I do food reviews. So you'll never miss out on all the good stuff here at Scott vs. Box. 